Hello, today we are going to focus on the diagonal or tailor based. Again, this is a, a reminder that basting stitches are temporary stitches, though in tailoring we do use this technique to base together layers of the padding interior of a chest shield on a coat or also sometimes around the collar. So it can be used also as a permanent stitch, um, but for our purposes today it is going to be a temporary stitch. As you can see with a diagonal stitch, it creates a diagonal line on the um, wrong side or the side that you're working upon, where if you flip it over, it actually has little dashes on the back side. And so it gives a different effect on both sides. So let's move on to doing our sample. With our sample today, we are using a number 10 milliner's needle. I recommend a nine sharp for anyone who is just beginning. Um, I also am using just regular polyester dual duty thread from Coates and Clark. And I have preconditioned my thread with um, Taylor or Thread Heaven. And this is to keep it from knotting as I'm sewing. You could use beeswax as well. I have my line marked here with a friction marker. This would be removed when I press it with heat. You could mark it with a pencil or something light, but I've kept it purposely light so that we can see our stitching with our dark thread on our material. The other thing to note is I do have two layers of muslin here so that we are basting together multiple layers. Now I like to stitch away from me, so I am going to turn this sideways. We are going to use our line to go in and then we are going to be uh, stitching perpendicular to that line. So I'm going to stitch about half an inch away. Now if it is helpful for you, you can mark a second line just so that you can have a straight line. So I'm going to mark this in a slightly different color in a peach. So we have the original yellow line and now we have a peach line. So keeping my needle perpendicular, and it's going to stay perpendicular to the line as we stitch. So my first stitch is going to be a tailor tack. Um, with basting stitches, we do not put knots. This is important in tailoring as well because we don't want to create a, um, a knot that you can feel through the wool when you're putting together your chest shield. So I'm going to stitch over that a couple of times just to hold that in place. So now I have my tailor tack in here and that will prevent my thread from being able to be pulled out easily. So then I am going to come up about half an inch, five eighths of an inch, and I'm gonna take my first stitch. Then I'm gonna move up again, same distance. And I'm just going to continue. You can see as we move up, this creates a diag diagonal line. Remember not to pull too tight. You want to make sure that you are creating a smooth stitch here. And I try to keep my stitch length consistent. When you're tailor um, basting on a jacket, it is really important that you stay consistent because you don't want to, the tighter the stitches, the closer the stitches are together, the more structured it is, the wider apart the stitching, the looser the stitches are, the softer your tailoring will be, your chest shield. This is true in the collar as well. So keep that in mind when you're doing a tailor. Now for the purposes of our sample, we are just going to do a tailor tack at the end. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Again, I'm just stitching in place one or two times. So then I would trim this. Now if I were to go on and do some basting, um, tailor basting as in a pad stitch, then I would take another stitch here, close to where I was before, and I'm keeping it about half an inch apart. And now I'm going to move down, going the opposite direction. This is what creates our pad stitching look, which looks like a herringbone. And when you go back up, it will chevron the other direction. And that is how we create 
our pad stitching. It can be tighter together, it can be smaller. There's a lot of other considerations when tailoring, but this is the basic idea of how we would pad stitch together a jacket front. I feel like my stitches have gotten a little wide as we've proceeded downwards. So if it was getting too wide, I would just remove the stitches and redo them. And then at the end, I'm going to do my tailor based. I have just enough thread. Now, when I flip this over, you'll see that we have just solid lines on this side. So that's what it's going to look like on the exterior when we're doing a tailor based where on the inside, it's going to look like a diagonal line. Or if you're doing multiple rows, like we do in tailoring and we start to pad stitch something together, we create that chevron herringbone type style. So for the purposes of the sample in class, you just need to do one row and just have it tailored tacked at the beginning and the end.